the National Kidney and Transplant Institute. Asia's leading kidney and transplant center. Destination to over 58,000 patients annually, it is the largest hemodialysis and organ transplantation center in the country today, performing 45,000 hemodialysis treatments and 275 transplant surgeries every year. As it continues to meet the demands of a rapidly increasing number of patients requiring its specialized services, the NKTI also functions as the primary source of healthcare personnel with training in the management of kidney disease, producing top-notch nephrologists, urologists, transplant surgeons, renal care and hemodialysis nurses, and other allied medical personnel for deployment to all corners of the nation. This unique expertise and experience, the NKTI documents and shares to the nation and the world through its research publications. The innovative, proactive approaches to the ever-changing challenges have resulted in real-world solutions. Many that have shaped national policy and have served as templates for other agencies to follow. These accomplishments have made the NKTI a unique government-run healthcare institution, defying all previous notion of a public service agency, competing squarely with the private sector while serving as the benchmark for specialty healthcare institutions. All these attain while maintaining admirable fiscal composure, as shown by its inclusion into the list of Business World's top 1,000 Philippine corporations. What makes it work? From its humble beginnings as a mere ward in the lung center of the Philippines in 1983, the NKTI started out as the National Kidney Foundation of the Philippines, created by Presidential Decree 1832 on January 1981 as a specialty center to provide specialized medical services to people suffering from kidney and related diseases. Dr. Claver Ramos, its first founding president, recalls. I am Claver P. Ramos, uh, founding medical director of the National Kidney and Transplant Institute. We thank the founding fathers and mothers of this institute for their foresight in establishing this really relevant medical institution. We thank them for their concern for the poor, who now lovingly says that this is my hospital. If this advanced medical center is good for the rich, it must be good for me. From the vision of creating a hub of specialty centers, clustered around a geographic location. The NKTI grew from just a wing of 50 beds to a structure with a 310 bed capacity, valiantly keeping up with the exponential rise in the demand for its specialized services. The National Kidney and Transplant Institute has never stopped in evolving to the number one government corporation hospital in the city and in the country. From the formative years in the 80s, the decade of the 90s brought challenges of growth. Faced with the beginning of the epidemic of kidney diseases in the country mirroring the global pandemic, the NKTI leaders struggled with the problem of serving an ever-increasing number of patients with kidney disease in the backdrop of an ever-diminishing budgetary allocation from a heavily debt-laden national government. Clearly, a strategy was required to avert what seemed at that time a path to certain collapse. When we, I took over, the institute was in a dire situation. Less than half of the services of the institute was stopped and had to be rehabilitated and retired. And the challenge that I gave then to the, to the workers 
was how we would structure and uh, strategize ourselves so that the mandate of the institution as a center for renal diseases could be achieved. Almost maybe a uh, reaching for the star, if I may call it, when we uh, envisioned or when I challenged the staff that in addition to the repairs that we, we had done, that indeed there was a need to show that the services of the institution was not only there, but that there was an attempt or that there was a move to move to excellence. KTI adopted a series of radical management overhauls, veering away from the bureaucratic system of administration and embracing the emerging best practices of organizational management. With this strategy of responsible corporatization, the results were clearly remarkable. With the processes streamlined and standardized, work efficiency dramatically improved. The improved efficiency resulted in tangible outcomes measured as greater numbers of patients served, specialists trained, and researches produced, all occurring in the setting of a dramatic fiscal turnaround worthy of mention in hospital management course case reports and textbooks. Yet there is no sitting on its laurels. Its passion for excellence drives the NKTI to continuously improve and measure itself against a series of quality measures, including international standards such as the TUV and the ISO. We obtained the ISO 2001 uh, certification in February 28, 2002. And we have maintained this until uh, my appointment as executive director in 2010. So the hospital grew from a 50-bed hospital to a 310-bed hospital in 2010. I was fortunate to have inherited from the, my predecessor, Dr. Enrique Ona, who was the previous executive director, who left a legacy of expanded services for the institute in the Philippine government hospital system. We had in place the ISO 9001-2008 certification, which we maintained. The laboratory as well uh, uh, was able to get ISO 15189 accreditation. Everyday excellence, or excellence every day, is a motto that we tried to introduce to our staff. Process has resulted in a more effective utilization of our resources. Nursing at NKTI is committed to quality patient care, compassion, professionalism, and excellence at its core. We have contributed greatly and visibly to the landscape of clinical research and training when it comes to kidney health and disease management. NKTI is coming to be the benchmark for the provision of advanced medical and paramedical services and training. It has been said that it is not the strongest or the most intelligent who will survive, but those who can best manage change. Based on the previous assessment, the NKTI demonstrates a keen sense and a firm grasp of change management. The NKTI has proven itself flexible enough for change when it is required and resilient enough to withstand the storms while staying true to its mandate and objectives and existence. But beyond survival is excellence. We're doing the right thing is done right the first time and every time until a better method is found. This is the culture firmly ensconced at the NKTI. A habit of excellence, as Aristotle so succinctly stated, that is married to a passion for innovation and a drive to keep improving oneself in order to give the highest level of service satisfaction to the people it has a vow to serve. To enable NKTI 
uh, assume this role. Uh, the Department of Health has been supporting them uh, in the acquisition of state-of-the-art equipments in terms of medical technologies and modalities. Secondly, uh, we are supporting the training and capability building of their professionals, both medical and allied uh, medical professionals, to be able to enhance the technical expertise and capabilities of the institute. And uh, we are also uh, facilitating access to research funds and grants so that uh, they will be able to conduct scientific researches. Uh, we are also supporting the development of NKTI as the repository of information, data, and other documents relative to kidney and other related uh, health conditions. Um, NKTI, although it's a government health facility, is comparable, if not better, than many of our private hospitals. As such, NKTI was able to influence and lower down the cost of healthcare in the related uh, health specialization. NKTI has been ISO certified since 2002, and they have been the inspiration of the Department of Health and other agencies in acquiring such an international recognition. To the NKTI family, keep up the good work. Please remember, everything that we have here was built not just because of a strong leader, but because of teamwork. Teamwork, cooperation, unity, and focus.